Uh, hello, this is a note uh, for our, uh, well, for anyone who wants it, but it was a request of a student in our online uh, radar course, and it's about, it's, a, it's an introductory idea about the basic use of the electronic bearing line, EBL, and the variable range marker, VRM, in, in, in any radar. These are, these are the primary working tools that you use continually. And I'm going to demonstrate this with our uh, radar simulator called the uh, uh, Starpath Radar Trainer. That's available at our website and maybe a few other places around the country. But here's that product. It's a software product for PCs. It only runs on a PC. So here, let me just uh, repeat this. So here is like the one screen that we have on that. And I just give a brief introduction to these parts and then let's get right to what we're after. So this is a view that shows uh, uh, the little radar screen and a chart. And you can turn on this. This is a kind of a nice training tool that shows you uh, on the chart what the radar sweep is actually seeing like that. We're not using that right now. And we have a target coming in like this and we're sailing up here on this course here and let's see our course is 344 degrees true and our speed is five knots and that's what we're doing and now we want to look into this these tools the variable range marker and the electronic bearing line and that's these in the small controls you can do it here but generally we work the problems the practice problems using this larger screen over here so here will be a, t there's a target coming in like this. And the variable range marker is just a way now, let me first back up and say we are in a heads up mode. Heads up mode. So let me go back to here. So we have the radar set so it looks just like this. In other words, the top of the screen in a heads up mode is right here. So this guy is just off to our left about that many degrees. There's another mode called north up and we'll come back to that in just a moment. But okay. So we're in a heads up mode, so the electronic bearing line is going to do relative bearings. So we, first of all, we turn it on. Up here in the top left, you turn it on, and then you control it here. This goes to the right, and this goes to the left. And then, we can, and then it's reading it down here, 352R. So you see, if I go up here and set this right at my, there, I should see zero, right? Zero. Because these are relative bearings. That's 90, 180, 270, zero. All relative to the heading of the, of the ship. And so here, so if I want to take a bearing to this, this, this vessel over here, I would get that bearing 330R, 330 relative. And if I want to know what that bearing is in actual life, then I have to note that I'm going, I'm going 330. 344. Well, you could do it several ways. You could say, what is my heading? My heading is 344, and then this thing is 330. 330. So you could think of that. You, you could either add that and then div divide out the 360, or you could say 330 is 30 degrees to the left. 30 degrees to the left of 344. Um, at, well, back when it was back up here. Now you see the vessels moved a little bit. Now this is running on real time. See, I'm going five knots towards it, and this guy's coming towards me. So our closing velocity is pretty, pretty high here. Um, but let's see. Uh, let me. I can just repeat this and start it up here. Now I go back. Radar view over here. Um, and then, um, okay, so that's the way that works. Now, uh, and these are relative bearings when you're in a heads up mode, and that's a heads up mode, and it'll say heads up right up here. Now, we could go to north up mode. So if we go to north up mode, let's go back here. See, now in north up mode, this picture, this is just a picture of life. It's a bird's eye view of down what's going on. So that's not going to change at all, of course. But over here on the radar now, the radar means north up. So north is always at the top. So if we go back to here, so here's north up here. Now if I take the, uh, if I take this guy over, oh, a ship's heading line is not on. Oh yeah, there's a ship's heading line. It's off to the left because we're going this way and this is, 
this is north up here so that should read zero and these are now reading true bearings so now when I'm in a north up mode this vessel is actually now I'm reading the true bearing to that 322 true true and then here's my vessel here so it depends on you know, often um, it depends on the circumstances. Sometimes a heads up mode is best. Some radars don't have north up. If you don't have a compass, a heading sensor plugged into the boat, plugged into the system, you can't do true, true north, north up. So a stock radar, when you just plug it in, that's going to be heads up period. And then if you plug in a compass heading, it's a heading sensor, then you can show uh, a north up. The course up, I'm not going to deal with. That's, a, that's a not a very practical application. It's, it's, on, it's on some units. But generally, you would be running north up or heads up. So that's the electronic bearing line, and then you read it down here. So let me just shut that off for the moment and go to the variable range marker. And the variable range marker is, see, these are the range rings here what scale are we on range let me go up so now I have a range 1.5 miles so it's from here from here to here is 1.5 miles and each ring is 0.5 miles apart or I can go um, I can go out farther see now everything's closing in on me now I'm looking out uh, three miles and every one of these is 0.5 apart so let's go back to something more realistic for what how you would interact. Let me start over again too with this guy. And you can put targets, you can put targets anywhere you want to and there's there's tons of practice scenarios and so forth. But I'm just going to say load scenario and uh, did that uh, did that start it again? Yeah, I did. Okay, so there we go. So the variable range marker, let me turn him on, it's green. Then I can go out and you'll see, here's my own marker coming out. It's just like a custom range ring, right? It's just like a custom range ring and it's reading in miles, nautical miles. So this, the, so how far off is this target right now at this moment? He's uh, down here, 0 0.64 nautical miles. And these are the, you, you know, if the range rings, you can shut the range rings off. I don't know, some radars will let you do that, others won't. Uh, so there's a range ring. Now the only thing we have to look at is this guy. So you could say maybe that's a little cleaner way to look at it. Those other lines aren't in the way, but normally the range rings are on. Also, in our simulator, these two have the same, same notation, like these dots. Mostly on, on real radars, there'll usually be a distinction. Maybe a color, maybe a dash, you know, slightly different dots. They'll be look a little bit different. So that's the range that's the range ring and the variable range marker. Now this that course up and heads up, I mean north up and heads up, that doesn't matter on the variable range marker. That's just how far the variable range marker is just telling you how far is that target or more specifically that ring from here. You would often like for example this land over here, I could just come down, whoops, down and just say how far is that land from me right now that land is 0 .38, 0 0.38 nautical miles and we have a lot of practical use for the range marker and the EBL for navigation and collision avoidance but that's just how those tools work and uh, here's where we just change the course and speed of the vessel alright that's the, that's the end of this short introduction